So Gunnar and I were doing a little scouting the other day and we were on the other side of the river over there. And we looked back and we could see this road cut in here. This looks like a really old road. And then down there, there was a fence post. And this is just kind of a nice, soft little valley right here, right next to the river. So Gunnar and I, we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully there's a home site down there. You know, maybe something from the earlier 1900s, late 1800s. So this could be a blank today, who knows? This is just kind of exploring. This is how you find them. Well, here we go. What the heck we got here? Some sort of encroacher? What's this guy doing? Showing up, trying to detect where I'm at. Look at this great big eggshell underneath the pine tree. I wonder if, I mean, I wouldn't know how to identify it, but I wonder if that's a eagle's shell. There's the other part of it. I mean, what else would be that big up here? It's not like we have uh, ostriches. So this isn't anything fancy, but we're on this road and we're starting to get into some tin, which is awesome because those are all good signals. Somebody was here a while back. It's one of those thingies. Nobody knows what that is. What the heck? Okay, Gunner and I are out of one of our old uh, home sites. I guess everyone's kind of decided this is probably a brothel because we found so many garter clips. It's just crazy. Anyways, so much good stuff's been found here. But it's been kind of beat to death now. So I'm back with the mini coil. Going to see what we can find. Look at that. First thing that we missed. I don't know what that is. I thought it was going to be a button. Well, that looks like maybe it's more like some sort of a leather thing. I don't know. It's kind of neat, though. Well, if this is here, who knows what we missed. Now we do finally get a button. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounded like a 22 shell. Uh, I think it says triple seam. Dang guys, I cannot even believe how amazing these little coils can be. Like, you're just not gonna weave around the junk like that. I mean, the only downside is you can only work a little area at a time, but look at that thimble, man. How did we miss that? There's been like three guys right over this spot. Amazing. So it looks like I got a spoon handle, but I'll tell you what, that is not nice. I mean, whew, look how fragile that is. This is like the budget spoon of 1890 or something. <laughs> it's crazy. Holy cow. I think I did it. First coin from this site. Oh, look at that. Indian head penny, 1897. Dang. You know, sometimes you just gotta relearn stuff. I don't know why I'm not using my mini coil more often. Dang. I mean, this is crazy. Well, it's nothing fantastic, but look at that. A suspender button. I think it says the West Port or something. It's pretty hammered. Another suspender. It says uh, Crown Brand. So the other thing I'm fighting, if you look, there's a lot of tall grass. So it's amazing I'm picking all this out of here. Well, isn't that a pretty little button? 
Somebody is super fancy up here. Oh, this is going to be cool. Look at that. That's one of those sash clips, I guess. That's nice. Well, I guess nobody's been this far up the hill. Because <laughs> that's a booming signal. I don't know how that's still there. Sweet. Okay, and then just like a foot or so away. I don't know. Is that the other piece? I guess that's either the another one or maybe the it's a two-piece thing i think it is a two-piece thing pretty cool okay so i got both pieces oh does that look right it's kind of weird that's how it goes together i don't know how else it would go like that maybe Maybe like that. Hmm. You tell me. Dude, I cannot believe what I have in the hole. Look at this. Police badge, baby. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's my second badge, I think, at this location. Dang. I bet that sucker's old. That's brass or something. Crazy. Wow, I've just found a hot spot, man. Look at that. It's got me a cufflink. So, kind of what actually happened is... I don't know if you can see those bushes right there. But, I haven't been this far up the hill. That's actually another uh, cellar hole. So I guess they're going in between here and the and the brothel down there. I'm gonna have to come back at some point and try to hit all this when the grass is lower. I'm just picking at this a little bit here where I can get in and out. Live dig? Probably just a bullet, but might be a coin. That'd be cool. Dang, I think that is a coin. Let's see what we got. Dang, I don't know what that's gonna be. I think that's a token. Dude, let me clean it up. So I hope you guys are seeing that. It says EMTS, Cresco, Iowa. And it looks like it's got like a heart with a crown and a uh, cross going through the crown. That's usually like a Masonic symbol, so. I don't know, I'll do a little research, but I'm. But I'm wondering, sorry, gunshot ducking down. But I'm wondering if it's a token or a button. It's real light. It's definitely like aluminum. Real close to that token. I just pulled an awesome button. Man, let me clean that up. There's definitely something cool on there. Star and some writing. Old two-piece. So here's a dumb question. How likely is it that that badge was real? Because this right here says Portland Police. I mean, that looks pretty authentic. Well, kind of weird to find a police badge next to a police button and have one be a toy. And I guess it's possible. Anything's possible. I guess the badge didn't really say Portland or anything on it, though, did it? Wow, isn't that awesome? 
Gosh, I wonder what year this button is. Man, I think I got a second one. How cool that be? It's got to be the same one. Let me clean it up. All right. Yeah. I can see the star coming through. It's definitely going to be the... Yeah, we're a ways off Portland. Portland police. Well, either lost his jacket here or maybe someone killed a cop right here after he went to the whorehouse. What do you think? Well, I guess I'm sort of cool little tool here. What the heck that is? Huh. I bet one of you guys knows. It's neat. Well, this is about all that's left of this place. There's the big old hole in the ground. So. I thought that was a pretty decent hunt considering this place has been hammered by us. Just goes to show. Just change up your coil. Maybe widen your search area just a little bit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.